Hey everyone, what is happening? Uh, I'm Mark Ross, um, I'm a fitness and physique coach um, and I've been working closely with the guys at OFB who have asked me to film a day in the life of an online trainer. So here I am, um, we're in isolation at the moment so it's going to be a little bit different but I'm going to try and keep it within the same um, routine as I normally have. Um, a little bit about me, um, I am obviously an online personal trainer, um, I am also a semi-pro footballer and I work as a fitness trainer for Barry's Boot Camp in Manchester so I've got a few things going on which might make my my business different to others which is another good thing about online coaching you can make it whatever you want um, so I'm gonna start my day how I would always start it I'm gonna teach a class and um, this time it will be in my front room on the camera uh, to the Barry's clients uh, but normally it's in the studio I will normally do like a 6 a.m. class 7 a.m. class and then I can get on with my online coaching clients and day um, so here we go workout time 10 minutes coffee let's do it all right here we go last minute now we're going to go plank for 20 seconds then we're going to go chest to floor burpees i'm watching every single one of you on there now all right get yourselves ready high plank big holds get ready five seconds chest goes down huge jump up big power in four in three in two in one and we've got a big drive in good now we're jumping down every single one of you big start to the morning hey you got 15 seconds only big drive in finish off strong we go 10, we go 9, we go 8, in 7, in 6, in 5, in 4, in 3, in 2, and recover. Boom, so a uh, sweaty workout done. Um, usually in Barry's, I won't um, have to do it with them. But in this case, you have to, uh, the, the virtual training thing. So um, regardless if isolation or not, um, I'll do my early sessions. I normally teach like 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Um, and then I can have a break now and I can have like an hour. And this is where I do all my kind of content creating or um, not check-ins, but kind of replies to emails or just like personal messages. So it's like an hour for me before I can kind of, um, you know, have some food and get stuck straight into the, to the online work. Protein porridge finished article. Oh my god, I've gone for little lower calories, no peanut butter in today, but some jelly, some seeds, some berries. Perfect. So the first thing I want to speak about is my business and um, not really how I run it. I'll get to that later on, but just kind of what it is and why I do what I do. Um, so my coaching is called uh, Lifestyle Lean, that's the program um, I've created and it's specifically for guys. So I train men around the world um, and that's what online coaching is good for because you can niche down and you can just, you know, you can, you can socially market to whoever you want. It's not like you're just training people right in front of you in the gym. Um, you can, you know, the world is your kind of oyster and you can, you can kind of choose who you want to train. So I coach guys for transformations, um, I've always been into men's fitness and men's health and um, I've, I've just grown up loving that. Uh, so, it's, so it's brilliant that I can now help people with really simple ways of, you know, going from overweight to going, you know, kind of fitness model shape. Um, I didn't start um, off like that. It was, you know, same as at any PT. You just kind of coach anyone and try and make money and then you can uh, go down kind of the funnel that you want. Um, it's great at the moment. My fiance um, is now getting into online coaching in a big way. So any girls that ask for coaching, I can now push towards her. Um, and then we're gonna speak about her a little bit later on here because she's gone from a different route from me. I've gone, um, I've always been in the fitness industry whereas she's come from a big manager's role in an office job and now transferring over. So that might help a few of you on here later on. But anyway, uh, today is a big check-in day. I have Thursday, Friday and Saturdays as my check-in days. Um, I'll speak about what I do in a little bit, but I'm just gonna focus now for like an hour or two and just speak to these guys. Um, I'm gonna message some of them, video some of them. Um, I, I video a few um, just because uh, I have more time now and they want it. 
Uh, I give the option to some people, some people just want a message. Um, it is good videoing. I personally like speaking on camera to people. Um, but yeah, I give it I give it their decision really. So here we go. Um, let's get on with it and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. to feel kind of you know in a good place um, and you can do that just by losing a pound a week doing your steps getting your training in um, and I want you feeling good that's the main thing so you're doing things right and um, don't worry like you do everything everything great buddy and um, it's good to see you and good to catch up with you and uh, yeah we can uh, speak again next week now we're in isolation we get a little bit more time a bit more face time so um, yeah may I have another top sunny day um, and keep going with results, looking awesome, mate. The really, really way proud. that I do check-ins um, might alter to other people, um, depending on what their business is. I know some online coaches are strength athletes, uh, sorry, strength coaches or performance coaches. Obviously, mine is all about um, getting them looking great and feeling good at the same time. Um, so, I, as I said, I will do Thursday, Friday and Saturday for my weekly check-ins. Um, I'll ask for them all to put in the main stats for me, so I'm asking for uh, circumference, I'm looking for weight, uh, I'm looking for body image changes, so photos every two or three weeks, um, but yes, yeah, stats I do weekly. Um, and I wanna get a good relationship with my clients. Um, I like to know them on a personal level. I just think it works so much better, so I will add phone calls in when they need it. I won't offer it out, so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's open, but they, they kind of know they can call me if they, if they need me. Um, and, um, and video calls, especially at this time when I've got more time, um, I'd rather give them more value whilst I am at home. Um, I know a lot of people ask uh, what happens in a check-in when you are starting to be an online coach. Um, because this differs, when I was a PT face-to-face, -face, which I did for like eight years, um, it, it does differ, like online is all about results. That's, that's for me, in my opinion, what makes a really good trainer and um, if you can get results it's not about you know just the the camaraderie or the friendship or the pay per hour um it's it's about what they are paying you actually for which they need to see numbers go down or go up depending on their goal um so this week has been about changing people's diets um either dropping or increasing food and changing people's programs and cardio routines. Um, again, this is all down to what you coach, um, but they're the three areas that I really zone in on for my clients to get transformations. Uh, System-wise, um, I know a lot of really good coaches who use emails and, um, and talk to their clients that way, but I use my PT hub, um, it's just, for me, it's just easy. Um, I know a lot of client, okay, coaches don't like it. Um, there's a lot of different platforms out there. I've used this from the start and I've just got used to it now. And I think the best, the best advice I can give is it doesn't matter what you use as long as you feel comfortable in it and what's easy for you and what you can systemize and um, and and the, the faster and simpler you can you can speak to clients is, is the better. So I use this, um, but obviously I would tell you just to kind of make your own way and try a few different things out. Uh, and I've had a little break now. I have, you know, messaged everyone um, made sure everyone's been replied to but obviously they're going to reply back now so I'm going to always have like an hour or two break because I'm an energetic person and online is a lot of sitting down at one time because you need to be focused um, so I've been here for like you know two or three hours now um, we're going to get outside for our one hour of exercise a day in the sunshine. Um, I might even film a workout with Jess um, and then we will speak about um, how she's got into online coaching, what's worked for her because um, I've come from a very different background and we'll both speak about that together. So yeah, uh, movement and workout time. Let's do it. Hey 
everyone. Um, so we have just done a workout. Yeah. Um, did. Yeah, we did arms and we was going to go outside, but we thought we'd just train weights today. Um, so uh, this is like a two minute little section. Um, I wanted to, uh, Jess to speak um, through what she's doing now. Um, I think she's seen how much I love online coaching yeah. um, and kind of uh, the happiness it can bring from like job satisfaction. And um, I'll let Jess speak for herself on her story. Yeah, okay. So a little bit about me. So I'm a little bit different from Mark, who's been doing fitness for his whole life. Um, I kind of went to uni and did like the whole university route, did marketing at uni, got our first class, went into Go a marketing on. job, and then worked in that job for like, I'd say like almost six, seven years. And I've worked my way up from being like an assistant to manager, then a senior manager, and then also a director as well. Um, and in the end, I just found that it wasn't really giving me that happiness that I wanted because it wasn't really something that I was actually passionate about. It was more that I was just climbing a career ladder and it wasn't something that I actually felt passionate about in the end. So I started looking at things in my life that I actually felt more passionate about and things I actually enjoyed. Started loving fitness, didn't you? And then like, I really started loving fitness and like getting involved with that. And initially like with fitness, I kind of just thought, like, I guess like most people that it's just something that I can enjoy and it would never really be something that I could do as an actual job. But then like seeing Mark and like obviously how well he did with his online coaching and also PT in general, it kind of made me realize that actually like, why am I holding this back as something that I could, I could actually do. It's, it's not something that's like something that I can't do. It is achievable. And then when I felt like I, I felt it was actually achievable, I started putting things in place to be like, right, how am I going to do this? So I started going, right, well, I'm going to just do a PT course and see what happens with it. And I just thought, even if nothing comes from it, at least I'm learning something that I actually enjoy. And then when I did the course, it just made me love it even more. Yeah. And then I really realised, actually, like, I get so much satisfaction out of being in a gym. And I had, like, this realisation one day when I was, like, in a gym with one of my friends. And I was kind of, like, basically PTing her. And I realised in that gym, I was like, I would rather be a PT in this gym than go back to go back to work yeah. so at that point it was a really big um change for me and i realized that you know i need to change what i'm doing yeah, of course so yeah that was like a bit about what happened to me and like how <laughs> i got into it it's quite a long story but it is no it's a good lot story different from yeah. kind of saying mark because he done that from yeah I've, I've always done yeah i've always yeah. i've been a pt for 10 years um but similar though like never thought you could kind of make it a business or make it um you know make make the money that you want it to make and now we're realizing that online just helps you doesn't 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 make it easy but it just helps you um live yeah. live your life and i think like i guess before like maybe when i was when i just finished uni when i was like 21 i think I, at that point i thought you know you have to kind of go down this path of going to university getting a job and then just climbing that ladder in that job and i think sometimes people get locked in that path and think that they can't escape it and try something different so if you are looking at something different and you want to change and maybe your passion isn't what you're doing right now take it from me like you can do that now yeah. in like 2020 like you definitely can go after your dreams yeah. and do what you want to do because there's so much you can do online these days like you don't have to yeah. sit in a job that you hate anymore that's it that's it mega like it's done yeah. everything she just said so, i was gonna yeah. ask her questions but she's just <laughs> gone and asked, but asked i guess it. i can talk a bit about what i'm doing now with it's, it it's so, basically she's just she's yeah. just doing brilliant yeah like i'm 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 happy with that you've done like yeah. you're doing brilliant um she's like we're in isolation now but yeah. I, I know it's summer but um she's putting everything yeah. out there on social media I'll, I'll tag her in this as well um so any girls that come to me i pass to jess any yeah. girls that come to jess pass to me and i think the thing is as well like i i passed my pt course in like october last year and it's now like April. Um, so in that time, I've already grown like a lot of clients and I'm, I've already, I've, I've quit my other job. So I'm just working my notes yeah. in that job now. So I've already made that jump to actually move and do this full time. And yeah, you can, you can mm. definitely do that if that's your passion and it won't yeah. take long if you've got the, if you're actually yeah. dedicated and you're going to put the work yeah. in. Yeah, And it's like, it was, it was a bit, bit rocky, not rocky yeah. at the start, but like you didn't, you didn't, you wasn't sure. Yeah. And now... Cause I, cause I think for me, like versus say I've worked my way up from, you know, being an assistant and worked my way up to being a director. And at that point to give up my job when I was work, earning good money was a risk. And obviously I wasn't sure if it would pay off and I was nervous about doing it. But now I realise that, yeah, it, 
like I'm so much happier and it's definitely been the right path that I've gone down yeah and I like obviously I wish I'd done it sooner but I think I'm glad it's turned out the way that it has because I've still got my experience on marketing to help me drive yeah this as well Boom. So, yeah, yeah, there we go. So we're, we're in a good place at the moment. We've worked hard and now we're kind of getting to where we want to get to. We've got ideas of where our business wants to be, um, but we're helping each other along the way. She's yeah. helping with marketing. I'm helping with a with bit of experience over 10 years, but we're both doing good now. So yeah, that's about me and Jess. Yeah. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <Okay>. Boom. <laughs> So with our workout done on a normal day, I would actually um, be going playing football on a Saturday. Um, sometimes we travel like up and down the country, so I'm doing the check-ins in the morning on the coach or staying in a hotel. Um, today in isolation, obviously there's no football. Um, and on, uh, in the weekdays, I would be coaching again um, at Barry's. So I'll be teaching more classes at Barry's. Um, so it's always kind of one or the other, not much breathing space, but I've got a nice routine where I can fit it all in. Um, so instead of, of going playing football and showing you that, what I'm going to do is just finish the video with some question and answers um, that I get regularly um, from people just 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 inquiring on everything that I do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna answer it all on here, and then I can uh, tag people and show them this video. So I'm just gonna do some quick fire answers. Um, so your first question is. Uh, why I got into it is because I wanted a business that I could scale um, and why I love it um, is a similar reason because it's fun because I can create this this business that has no uh, you know no capacity that if I really wanted to make as much money as I, as I wanted then I could do and um, and I'm doing it with something that I love um, so yeah so um, I fit Barry's and football in, as I just, just said, like a tight knit uh, schedule. Um, I'm big on structure, so everything's in the diary, hour by hour, what I'm doing. Um, I will uh, add in relaxation hours, and sometimes on the coaches driving down to football games or in hotels, I do get a little bit of relaxing time. But it is very busy at the moment, but I'm just uh, enjoying it, and I know... Um, it's my time to strike now um, before summer and be in this age and just kind of, I know that I want to push my business. Negatives. Um, there is there is negatives. It's just like any other job. Um, you are sat down for a lot. You're on a laptop a lot. I'm, I was used to the first eight years of my career non-stop on my feet, um, whereas checking days can be literally behind a laptop for seven, eight hours. And the days are even longer because it's your own business even longer and I'm working till midnight a lot of the time replying to clients at all times just because you want to help them um positives there's so many positives um my favorite positives are that um you get to work with the clients that you want so you can niche down as much as you want to you make um, really good friendships around the world um and I've touched on it before it's cool that uh, you can scale it to whatever you want and create a business that you like and you can make it your own. I don't have a membership site. There's different ways of online coaching. Um, I have a one-to-one -one system. I just coach clients one-to-one -one and I've got a group of guys um, who I personally uh, coach that way. Um, I know a lot of coaches have like group programs or these big membership sites where you pay little, um, but mine's quite high tier um, because I personally like getting high results and I think that's the best way. Um, from my experience, the best way of getting clients is getting results. Um, obviously, showing up on social media is a big, big thing each day, but um, I think results just, just, just speak volumes without any kind of paid marketing. Um, I think once you get good at that and you get good at learning your online systems, that's when um, it's a game changer. Difference between face-to-face uh, -face PT and online one-to-one uh, -one PT. This, this, is, this is generalized, very generalized, but when I was coaching face-to-face, -face, it was very much, um, they did the hard work in the hour. And then when they left the gym, they thought that was their work done and they were paying for that interaction and that camaraderie and friendship and you know uh, technique work whereas online it's very much they're paying you for results which i've spoken about before they paying you to lose fat gain muscle getting stronger they need numbers um and that's the main difference for me i get a lot more transformations a hell of a lot more online. advice for people who want to start um is is do it um the way that i started is just testing the waters it's literally just 
getting a free trial on an app or using emails or training your friends. Um, Jess did the same. Um, and just, just, just test things out. I mean, you should, as a coach, as a good coach, you should know how to get results. So start doing that. Start showcasing your results um, and just do it. It's not gonna be great. You'll, you'll mess up, you'll do things better, you'll mess up, you'll do things better. Um, and then you'll get to a point where it's, it's quite good. Um, and that's when uh, your business is, is going great. Uh, social media is massive for online coaching. Um, you need to show up every single day. You need to be giving value out, helping people. You might not see any return in it for months. There's people who follow me months on end, don't say anything, don't comment. And then six months in, they'll tell you they've been following every single workout you've been put on there and they'll love you and they want to be a client. So just put yourself out there, give loads of uh, uh, value out every single day. Don't, uh, don't worry if you don't get anything back for a while, just keep plugging on. Um, and yeah, it's massive. That's where my following has come from and my clients have come from around the world. Uh, I don't do any paid marketing at the moment. I'm lucky in that way. Um, but again, I've just been, been doing the hard work of posting every day, emailing, um, speaking to clients, commenting, replying, all the, all the hard stuff. Um, Suck's big on, uh, Suck Sudu, he's big on um, email, uh, sorry, paid marketing. Uh, as well as everything that I do. Um, so I could probably have a bigger audience and a, and a bigger business um, want, when, I, when I want to, but at the moment I'm just doing um, the simple stuff and it's worked for me. Um, this isn't just for online coaching, this is for everyone. So the way that I get top results, um, I've been in the industry 10 years and people ask me, you know, how are these guys getting these insane transformations? Um, but again, it's, it's knowing your knowledge, it's, it's being a good coach. You can't fake that, even if you're online, you can't fake that. People come online for the wrong reasons. I come online because I love what I do and I want to coach guys to get six packs and to feel good. And I've been doing seminars for the last 10 years on that. Um, and now, now, only now it's just showing. When I was doing transformations in the gym, no one really saw um, the end result. Whereas now I put it on social and everyone sees it, um, which is great. Um, but yeah, so learn your trade. Um, further knowledge, further education, keep doing it. And that is it, I think, for all the questions, the answers, and for everything on my video. Um, it's my first vlog, so thanks for watching. Um, as you might have seen, it's not all beaches and um, traveling and, you know, coaching around the world and doing what you want. It's, 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 it's probably more, more hours than you would do it in a nine to five job. Um, it's a full-time business and um, it can be great uh, as long as you understand that. Don't go into it uh, wanting it for the wrong reasons. Uh, and I'll finish on telling you guys what I tell everyone who kind of DMs me and messages me and asks me about online coaching, which I will try and reply to every single one of you, and I do, um, but I'm only truthful and I would rather pass you on to um, the people who know what they're really talking about. So uh, the OFB group and, and, and Suck has helped um, my business become a business before I was just playing around with online, getting nowhere, getting clients, losing clients. Um, I cannot recommend uh, the program enough. Um, I'm still going back to it each month, just learning new stuff from it. Um, and I just know that uh, I'm never in doubt or worried because I know uh, the tactics or, or the, the steps to get to where I want to get to um, and grow my business and scale my business, which I've got huge ideas to do so. So thank you to you guys. Thanks for letting me do this video today. Um, if you don't already follow me, Mark Ross underscore fitness, and I'll kind of try to answer anything that I didn't answer in this video. Boom.